it's no, not a coincidence that um, um, every terroristic act, almost every terroristic act aimed and based on this fascist book, uh, the Quran, and this wrong ideology, um, the Islam, um, unfortunately um, has been done um, by people but from this a Islamic. this handful compared to, you know, hundreds of, hundreds of millions well, unfo of people. Unfortunately, it is not a handful. Uh, it is a growing minority who find their inspiration in this Islam. I hate political correctness in a way that I'm not a cultural relativist. I don't believe that cultures are equal. I believe that our culture is far better than a retarded Islamic culture. I believe that we are You're that we the should Islamic private. culture retarded. It is. It is. Look at how you in this culture women's words uh, at home or around the world will absolutely go crazy when you hear that. Well, um, um, uh, this is not my aim, but um, 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 I give you an honest answer about what I believe. You don't know. You don't know what the movie would be like, um, uh, and maybe some people uh, would get offended. It's not my aim to offend people. My aim, um, they might be offended. I know that. I acknowledge that. It's not the aim of the movie, but it might be. So, what the hell? It's their problem. It's not my problem. You know, just in these last couple of minutes, you've offended about 1.5 billion people on this planet. I mean, well, I'm absolutely, actually, absolutely outrageous, outrageous, not necessarily wrong or right, but outrageous that you, that you were saying that. Well, somebody um, should say it. I'm, I believe I'm not, uh, luckily, I'm not uh, the only one. But I make, of course, I make a distinction between the religion and the people. Um, I have uh, big problems with the Islam. Uh, I have big problems with this ideology, this religion. But I'm not saying that all the people who call themselves Muslims um, are wrong. Of course, also the majority of the Muslims living in the Netherlands um, are not terrorists. Um, unfortunately, a growing minority, not only in the Netherlands, but all over the world, uh, the growing minority of Muslims is taking a radical and extremist stand. Um, so I make a distinction, which is, of course for some people is hard to understand, but I make a distinction between the religion. I don't believe in a moderate Islam. I don't believe what some people you call the European Islam. Islam. I don't think there will be, and if there will be in time a moderate Islam, it will be in two or three thousand years, and we cannot afford to wait. It's five minutes to twelve, as we say in the Netherlands. But I do believe in people, which means that if Muslims try and really want to assimilate in the Dutch society, they have to, well, they have to get rid of the tough and intolerant and fascist parts of the Quran, but if they want to assimilate and take our values to their values, of course I have nothing against them. They are worth and have chances as much as you and me or any other. Well, Mr. Wilkins, let's start with this movie that we've been hearing about. Is it a movie about the Quran, about Islam, or what's going on with this? Well, um, Quran is Islam, um, unfortunately, so um, it's about both, but uh, the main issue is the book, um, fascist book, the Quran. Um, and what I want to show with this movie, what I already did, both in Parliament, uh, as in some articles I've published in newspapers, is to show the people that uh, many verses from many surahs um, are very bad indeed, and still, even today, I'm not talking about centuries uh, ago, um, are inspiring people um, to do the worst, often implemented in laws in many countries in the Middle East, uh, but once again also in Europe or in the United States, is inspiring people to do the worst things, and this is what I want to show why we should get rid of this terrible book. Is this movie finished? Is it ready to, to be aired? No, I'm in the process, um, as we are talking, in, uh, in making uh, this uh, short movie. It's about uh, 10 minutes' time. And um, well, I hope to finish it uh, uh, within the next few weeks. Next few weeks. And it'll yeah. be airing on where? Dutch television or internet? Well, I'm negotiating with uh, uh, Dutch programs, um, uh, television stations. They are not all too eager um, to broadcast it uh, without seeing it uh, before, which I can understand. So as soon as I've finished it, I will uh, show it to uh, a few um, of our television stations, hoping uh, that one of them uh, will broadcast it. I'm, uh, but it's really happening. Some people say, oh, it's a bluff. Oh, he's just talking about it for a publicity uh, statement. <laughs> well, wait and see. But why would you do it? You know what kind of reaction. The, the advance word already is that there could be riots in the streets if you do something like that. Well, this proves my point uh, even more, that it's uh, needed a lot um, to, uh, to make such a movie. Um, indeed, only um, uh, the pronunciation that I was going to make a movie uh, was already um, um, the Dutch government uh, panicking, talking with imams all over the country, uh, Muslim groups threatening to go to court to prevent the movie 
uh, being uh, published, um, as if we have no um, uh, freedom of speech uh, in the Netherlands. So all the reactions uh, before even the movie is finished, let alone broadcasted on television, uh, proves my point exactly that it's um, very needed to make a movie and that, uh, uh, well, people could, uh, should bear some criticism also in the Muslim community. People will admit that there is a real clash of civilizations going on right now, but isn't your kind of rhetoric, your kind of discussion, just fanning the flames, burning uh, on this issue? Now, listen, we tried for, um, uh, for many um, uh, decades um, uh, in Europe. Um, we tried it the other way. Uh, we tried it uh, to do it with dialogue. Um, we tried it um, to do it by accepting other cultures, by calling them equal, and by saying that everything is allowed. Um, if you, a few years ago, the Netherlands only said that it's wrong that people have five times more a social benefit if they are from Moroccan origin. You're almost called a fascist, which, which is totally nonsense. So we are politically correct. We tried, we tried it every time, every day again. And politicians who invented the multicultural society, of course, are not eager to admit that they were wrong, that are at least are also backsides of this concept of multicultural society, cultural relativism, except, except, especially if you do it our way, unlike the way in the United States, where at least people have an incentive to go to work, to integrate. If not, you face your own problems, which is totally different in the Netherlands, besides the fact that we have totally different kinds of immigrants um, from the mountains of Morocco or from countries where... And they go to the United States. It's, it's not to be compared. The, the concept of immigrants in the United States and Europe and the Netherlands is totally, totally different. People have the image of Holland as kind of a model of multiculturalism, as kind of low-key politics, uh, basically uh, people getting along, living um, among each other. What, what are you saying? That, that's, that's, that's just the facade and the reality is something else? Well, I don't, um, 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 uh, Netherlands, uh, I mean, the multicultural, multicultural problem uh, brought us um, all the problems. And not only the fact that those people came here, but that um, you, you cannot even blame, blame all the individuals to come to a country where they can have a better life. But unlike, for instance, the United States, uh, we pampered all those people. We have a, a real um, um, perverse social security system. And, and people um, even get more social benefit than when they work um, at the minimum wage. So there's no, totally no economical incentive um, to get the best out of yourself and to, to work, to work. To, and if you work, you assimilate, you get friends, you have something to be proud of, you, 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 you use the, the, the values, you, you share the values more often. If you don't, if you give people housing without any uh, pay, if you give uh, people a social benefit, if you don't tell them that um, uh, to beat up your wife or to let your wife uh, or your young uh, daughter not work in the Dutch society, uh, that it's wrong, that uh, it's not okay if your son beats up homosexuals on Saturday evening in Amsterdam. If you don't do that, you get into trouble. So it's not only those persons who are doing that, but it's also in the last decades the Dutch politicians that were responsible, that they allowed it to happen, that they never said, stop, um, it's our country, we are the boss, it's our values, if you want to come and stay here, that's okay, but only if you adhere to our values, to our principle, and our law and constitution. And unfortunately, that is not happening. So, with all the tolerance we are having, unfortunately, we are also tolerant to the intolerant. We should learn to start being intolerant to the people who are intolerant to us. This would be the best lesson for the Dutch government to learn. You were voted in a recent poll, it was a poll both on the internet but also among parliamentary press here in uh, Holland as the most popular politician in Holland. Why? Well, um, this is something you should never say about yourself and so um, uh, I have to be modest about that but uh, I don't know. I, th I think that um, um, uh, the poll was um, within the group of journalists and within uh, the public. And I think within the public, uh, people respect that at least there is one political group in Parliament and, uh, headed by a politician who is not afraid to say what he thinks. And a lot of people in Holland, we are, once again, we are not xenophobes or racists, but we want to stay proud of the identity uh, that we have, which is not uh, being an Islamic uh, country with Islamic values and people are fed up with the crime with the taxes they have to pay for the unemployment with everything that goes along with this Islamization of the Netherlands so they feel 
um, that uh, at least there is somebody who says our culture is better and let's stop the immigration and let's work on the problems that we have and try to also help the people that are already here to assimilate, but according to our rules, not to their rules. Then for the journalists who are most, is, most is very leftish uh, in my country, unfortunately, I believe most of them um, really don't like me too much, but at least um, they respect the fact that, uh, well, uh, I make sure that there is a debate, at least in the Netherlands, that uh, in the last year uh, um, um, there is some discussion um, in the parliament and that we with our nine uh, party with nine seats out of 150 seats in total, which I'm very proud of, but it's not the, we are not the biggest party, we are the fifth largest party in the Dutch parliament, are dominating on many issues the political discussion in the Netherlands. And I think even journalists respect that, even though most of them are left and don't really appreciate what I have to say. Right, the murder of a Pim Fortune has to be on your mind. Others driven out of the country because of security. I, I assume you still have, a, still, still have a phalanx of security around you, correct? Yeah. What is it like to live that way? Well, it's something that you will, really would not wish your worst enemy um, um, to have. Um, and they are all friendly uh, persons and guys, of course, but it's, uh, it's, it's like losing um, your own freedom. You, can, you are not free to move around or to have a private life or to, to, to really have um, any aspect of freedom in your life now for three and a half years uh, almost. Uh, but still, I have, I have uh, I, you don't, do not hear me complain, even though I hate such a kind of life, especially in my personal uh, uh, life. Um, but, uh, You're I living have, with the threat of death. Yes, and all the all the uh, the security um, surrounding uh, that, but I have I have really the adrenaline through my veins. My the the, 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 the is is really the fact that I feel a lot of support um, within my country to really make make a change, uh, be proud of our identity, uh, not be a xenophobe or racist, but speaking out against the ideology that is really um, threatening everything in the West that we stand for. That but all, all, all the costs, all the government attention to, to protect you as an individual, wouldn't it make sense just to temper what you're saying a little bit, just to be a little bit more careful with the comments you make about a, a broad swath of population out there? Well, thank you very much for your uh, personal concern, but uh, the answer would be uh, uh, no, sir, because if I uh, would do that, if I would moderate my voice or maybe stop uh, talking uh, like that at all, um, then um, the people who are not using democratic means uh, but undemocratic means like death threats that I'm getting every day, um, those people would win. And in a democracy, if you are against somebody, you use your freedom of speech, go and debate, write an article, go vote for a party that thinks differently. Uh, this is democracy. Um, this is civil society. This is everything that should be done in a democracy. So if I would stop saying what I really think and uh, once again, more than half a million people voted on my party and on me personally. Um, so I also have an obligation to the voters that expect this uh, from me. And I believe in it. And if I would not do that, I would not only play a nasty game to my voters, but I would also give a signal to everybody who says, if you say what we don't like, we will kill you, behead you, or whatever, do terrible things with you, that they are winning. That they are winning. And they will never, never as long as I live, at least, at least win um, from me. So where do you th see things going? Where do you see things going in Holland and Europe uh, between Christianity versus versus the Islam faith? I mean, are you optimistic? Are you uh, pessimistic? No, I'm, I'm from nature. I'm very optimistic, and this is uh, that un un unless of unlike everything, I will stay very optimistic. But to be honest, if you look at the uh, majority of the politicians um, in the Netherlands, but uh, unfortunately in many more countries in uh, my continent, uh, I'm very pessimistic. I'm very pessimistic in a way that um, I believe that um, um, uh, the political elite is not wakening up, is uh, putting their head under the carpet, that the uh, distinction, uh, the gap between the Fox Populi and the political elite is only growing more, which will be also destabilizing factor in many uh, European uh, countries. And as long as the political elite doesn't take um, um, the questions, um, um, the threats, uh, the problems of uh, large parts of their constituents seriously, um, I'm very negative. And Europe is go getting in the, in the wrong uh, direction entirely. We are. But don't you don't you see sh even mainstream politicians shifting 
a little bit towards your your side? I mean, in terms of immigration, uh, security? Uh... No, no. I mean, listen, um, um, our new government is just here one year. Uh, one of the most important things, at least that's what I claim myself, what they did is what we call a general pardon, a general pardon, which means that they legalized uh, almost 30,000 um, illegal people who often already went to two or three courts, was, were denied a permit because they were mere uh, uh, lying about the application um, to stay in Holland as an asylum seeker or any other um, um, course. Um, and they were just legalized, like Spain did a couple of years ago, even with higher numbers. But so now Holland has some of the toughest immigration laws uh, we have of not Europe. Tough, come on, we have no tough immigration law um, at all. I mean, if you want to uh, get a, your spouse from Morocco, um, um, she will have to do a small test from five minutes that she knows that uh, Beatrix is not uh, the king of Norway. I mean, this is, this is something like a test that they have to do and say three words uh, which are not French, uh, but Dutch. Mm -hmm. I mean, this, this is not strong immigration. If you look at the numbers from last year, they are as, almost as high as they were from the numbers from the year before. And they are even, when it comes to asylum seekers, they are even growing uh, again. Um, so um, uh, don't let them fool you. Um, this is not true. We are not um, stopping immigration at all, and we are still, uh, unfortunately, cultural relatives uh, to the bone, and the government is still playing politically correct, and the uh, large amount of people who live in my country are fed up with it. And if they don't really take them seriously, not only my party will grow, I'm sure they won't like that, but my party will grow, but it will be, bring the country to a more destable position than stable position, which of course um, is not good. Uh, you should um, solve the problems um, if they are real, and they are real.